Hey, what's happening guys? Today we are going to take a look at this solder stick connectors. We had a 500 piece kit here from solder stick and they'll cover everything from 10 gauge through 24 gauge. And what they are is a little plastic sleeve of heat shrink with solder in the middle that you can melt with a lighter or a heat gun or whatever you need and join a couple pieces of wire. So, why not just solder? Well, I think these are a lot more convenient. We're gonna check that out. So let me grab my phone and we'll get a timer here, okay? Uh, stopwatch, there we go. We'll put that down there. I've got a couple pieces of 18 gauge wire here, which I am going to solder splice together to a butt splice here and sort of started the timer okay so we're a couple seconds off but whatever so we'll put them in here like so don't want to get any solder on that So the first thing is we have to heat up the wires. There we go. I'm not rushing and I'm not going slow. I'm doing it at a decent pace for a good connection. And we're not done yet. In order for our solder splice to compete with a solder stick, then it needs to be insulated. So we're going to have to slide some heat shrink tubing over here. And stop. 136.02. That is a very strong, very secure connection. Okay. Now, we can take the same two pieces of wire here. I'm going to reset our stopwatch. Our same two pieces of wire. These are 18 gauge, so we need a red connector. We slide, and that's not gonna fit. We'll use these 18 gauges here. One second for me to prepare. All right, this is the same gauge wire as you can see. The other just has a little thicker bit of insulation on it. So we take our wires. Oh, can you forget to start the timer? Take our wires and slide them in. Like so. And then Heat them up. Thirty two point three nine seconds. Let's see how we did. Nope, that did not heat the solder. It heated the, uh, the shrink, but not the solder. Let's try it again. That is probably my fault. Okay. 
them all in there. All right, let's try it again. This time I'll uh, concentrate on the solder spot first. This lighter may not be hot enough to do it. We'll find out here in a minute. Nope, the lighter's not hot enough. Try something else. All right, here we go again. Timer started. The wire's in there. And this time we will use the Turbo Skull Lighter. All right, 37.83 seconds. Give it a second or two here to cool down and we'll check it. Yep, no problem. So you're gonna need at least a torch style lighter. The old Bic ain't got it. All right, I have some thinner wires as well I wanna try. These are some 22 gauge stranded wire and it says red is the color for them as well so I mean this is solid 22 gauge solid so we will try the red for this one as well see how it does make sure the wires are in the right place There it was. I can just see it melt there. Good. We'll give it a second to cool and we'll check it. Yeah, not quite. Let's see if I can. Nope. See that one? No, that one wasn't quite in either. Let's try it with a smaller one. I bet you that was the issue. These maybe these are 20 gauge. I bet you that. Yeah, I bet you that's the problem. These are 20 gauge. I'm sorry. Get in there. We'll see if we can get you a better view too. All right, now focus. Focus on my thumb, maybe. All right, there we go. Okay, here we go. Like Glenn Fry said, the heat is on. There we go. Let that cool for a second and check it out. Good. Good deal. So. Now that we've done this, let's me uh, strip these down. And what we'll do is we'll put a multimeter on it and check it against the soldered one. Okay, there's the meter. It is set for ohms. And you can hear it will beep on a dead short. So we'll start first with our soldered connection. You can see the whole thing. Yeah. Instantly there's no resistance there. Now we'll try our solder stick one. Same thing. No resistance at all. 
So it is at least as strong as a regularly soldered joint. And it has the same electrical characteristics. So I think they're a winner. And uh, like I said, Solder Stick sent this out to us free of charge for our consideration. And uh, my consideration says this is a must get for your toolbox. It's less than half the time of doing a solder joint plus heat shrink. It is at least as strong and is electrically matched, you know, resistance wise. So fantastic. This kit uh, is listed on their website. I'll put a link down below for about $25. And it'll take you from 10 gauge all the way down to 24 gauge. And there's 500 pieces in there. Check out their website as well. Solderstick.com. Give you some hints on how to use it. But I definitely think it's a winner. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks again to Ryan at Solder Stick. Big thanks to the patrons and you and you and you and every one of you guys out there. That's it. I'm out. Peace.